Hey Coyotes and welcome to the Maddie Squared Show. I'm pretty sure it's CMS TV. Well either way, this show is going to be awesome. You got that right. To start off the show, we have a story on the farmer's market with Lucas. How to save water with Lydia. And to cap it all off, Sean and Cole will take us around the track with their remote control car. So sit back and relax because the Maddie Squared Show, CMS TV, starts, starts now. Send it over to Lucas with the Farmer's Market. Remember that Mother's Day is Sunday, so make sure you do something nice for your mom or grandma. Now let's send it over to Lucas. We sell toffee, candy, jewelry, to wind chimes, hydroponic lettuce. Hey Coyotes, located at the corner of Grand Avenue and State Street in Carlsbad Village, every Wednesday is the Carlsbad Farmer's Market. Here, local residents come to sell their produce to the public. There are many items and foods for sale here at the Farmer's Market. Let's talk to some of the vendors to see what they sell. Hydroponic is the next one. Growing food or vegetables. Okay. Growing anything really yeah. without the use of a soil medium. So our roots are suspended or sitting in water. And the nutrient is provided through a water, water soluble source. Good, okay. We sell toffee, candy, caramel corn, and peanut butter as well. They're all made with honey instead of corn syrup. I'm good. Okay. The farm market is a great place to come for numerous reasons. One is that you can get items that are not usually for sale in the grocery stores. And a second reason is that the farmer's market has no taxes on their items. And a third reason is that all the produce sold at the Carlbad Farmer's Market is local to San Diego. And I make everything. Whatever I can think of and whatever I can make, I can sell here. Jewelry <laughs> to wind chimes to dream catchers. So if you want to try something different, check out the Carlsbad Farmer's Market. I'm Lucas Rowland, reporting for CMS TV. Now back to the anchors. That was very interesting. I'll make sure to stop by next Wednesday. Don't forget about the Neon Nights dance from 3 to 5 this afternoon. Since California is in a drought, we sent Lydia out to find different ways to save water. Hi, my name is Lydia Rojas, and this is how you save water. Since California is in a drought, I decided to inform you about ways to save water. My first idea is instead of putting your dishes in the dishwasher to clean them, you could hand wash them instead. My second idea would be to instead of having real house plants that you have to remember to water every day, you could just have fake ones. My next idea would have to be to only water your lawns and plants for short periods of time. This would definitely save water. The fourth idea would be when you brush your teeth, to turn the water off while brushing. And finally, my last idea would be to take shorter showers. I think this would help a lot to know that you're being rushed. I hope this has inspired you to save water. I'll definitely take a shorter shower tonight. Remember, seventh graders, you have testing next week, so make sure you get a good night's sleep and eat a healthy breakfast. Next up, we have a spotlight on Samuel Liu. Good morning, Coyotes. I'm Carson Lane. Piano is a very difficult instrument to play. Samuel Liu is in the 8th grade and he has been playing this difficult instrument for a long time. I have been playing the piano for 8 years. As Sam started to play the piano, he had to overcome many challenges. One challenge I had was when I went to piano lessons almost every single week. I had an extremely strict, strict teacher. When you're mastering the piano, it's actually really hard since you have to look at the keys at the same time, looking at the piano. Throughout the years that Sam has been playing, he has gone through many different teachers. My first piano teacher was Victor Schickman. My second teacher was a nice woman. She was too nice almost, really kind. And my third teacher, she was like the strictest of all three. She was like the best teacher, I guess you could say. She was nominated many times for like the best teacher of California sometimes. Sam is also learning how to speak Chinese. Each day, practicing Chinese is a very hard task. Every day, I had to confront my mother with Chinese, even though she does not even understand English. To cope with this, I learned Chinese. 
Why is learning how to speak Chinese difficult? In Chinese, there's absolutely no way you can spell out a word. One of the hardest things in Chinese is just vocabulary, unlike Spanish or English. Um, in Chinese grammar is possibly the simplest thing you can ever imagine. For each sound, there's, a there's only a limited amount of sounds a human mouth could make. So like, a sound like chi could literally have 17 words to it in 26 different meanings. Have a great weekend, coyotes. Now back to the anchors. That's really cool. I want to learn how to play the piano now. I hope the science classes that went to Qualcomm this week had a great experience. And if you haven't gone yet, have a fabulous time. As our last story, we have Sean and Cole pushing the limits with their remote control car. Spectacular end. And don't forget, you sixth graders, camp is right around the corner. Have fun. And have an amazing weekend. Bye. Bye. Television Network here in San Diego at California's very first mission. This is Mission Diacola, the very first mission of 21 in California. This one small chunk of land was the very first Western settlement besides the Native Americans. Padre Junipero Serra founded this mission and eight more. Something special is about to happen to him and Sister Mary told us more. He is going to be named a saint in September at a uh, the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception in Washington, D.C. He's proclaimed a saint, but he will be proclaimed a saint by uh, Pope Francis when he arrives. Now, he's proclaimed a saint because he lived in difficult times, and instead of go running away from them, 
he actually embraced those times and did something beautiful with them. Padre Junipero is credited for bringing Christianity into the West. When to set up missions that would also be places where the Indian tribes could gather, they could uh, receive education. A few years after the mission was built, a terrible fire that was started in an Indian raid burned it all down. Then shortly after they reconstructed it, a major earthquake shook it back to the ground. During the construction of this community, many figures helped to shape it into what it is today. International Cemetery, for example, that you find at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. The inside of the church, and this mission is also considered a basilica mission, which means it's the mother of all missions. If the Pope ever were to stay here in San Diego, this is where he would stay, and he would stand under the red and yellow canopy. This one mission started San Diego. The church still has an active parish, and if you ever get a chance, come check it out. Hey coyotes and welcome to the Maddie Square Show. Um, I'm pretty sure it's CMS TV. Well, either way, this show is gonna be awesome. You got that right. <laughs> what? Sorry, it's not okay, do I have to say um because it feels really unnatural? Like I don't. I, can I just say, like, um, I'm pretty sure it's yeah, TV. Yeah, it's I don't have to say um, right? Oh. I'm right. Well, either way, the show is going to be awesome. You got that right. To start up the show, we have a store on the farmer's market with... Li <laughs> so sit back and relax, because the Maddie Squared Show... CMS TV. ...starts now. I messed up. <laughs> like this? Maddie, just, you know, well, <laughs> Barack Obama, fish, fish. 
more fish. Turtle. Uh, unicorn. Peacock. We did it. We did it.